Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're doing a tool review video. I'm not working on a bike or anything. I just need to clean my bathroom because I'm a disgusting slob and I don't want to do that. So we're gonna do a we're gonna do a tool review right now. And I'm gonna talk about this uh, 12 volt uh, drill that I got from Amazon. It's the Chemo. I bought this mainly out of curiosity. I had a suspicion that the batteries were the same as the batteries for my electric ratchet that I got from Amazon as well. Um, this is the Anesty battery. And see, Anesty into the Chemo. I had a suspicion they were the same. I took a gamble. I really, really like this trill. It feels quality and it's lightweight, easy to use. I love using this for like tearing carbs apart. Not old nasty carbs like these, uh, but like the Makuni, like doing the jet changes and stuff on that. This was great for getting the float bowl off really quick. Um, just for small things here and there, it's a really good drill. Pretty simple though, 12 volt adjustable clutch, uh, high and low gear. I do like that it has the battery indicator there and it also has a magnet on both sides of the drill, which is a pretty neat feature. You can slap on, you know, the next screw or a bit or whatever there. It's a pretty cool little feature, but we're not gonna talk about that today. Um, like I said, I need to clean my bathroom, so we're gonna do that. And we're actually gonna use this drill because I lost some of them, but this drill comes with a ridiculous amount of crap with it. You get the battery, the battery charger, and then they give you all of these brushes and stuff. Um, I've never used any of these. I might have lost some. You get drill bits, you get a bunch of bits in general. Uh, the drill bits are garbage. You get a little garbage tape measure. If you were like somebody that's moving into an apartment, this would be a pretty good drill uh, to throw into like a closet to use to put together your, your Ikea furniture or whatever. It's a lightweight, pretty cool drill. I like it. I actually like it a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, I used it, I used this brush attachment when I was cleaning out the uh, fuel filter assembly for the Honda Shadow. So basically what we're gonna do is go clean my bathtub, it's 100 years old, and we're gonna see ugh, how these like brush attachments work. So I'm gonna go spray my bathroom down with some scrubbing bubbles, let those do their bubbly thingy for a while, and then we'll get on there. Oh my God, that was crazy. And we'll do some cleaning. because my girlfriend says my bathroom is disgusting. So let's go fix that problem. <clears throat> All right, as you can see, uh, I have a lot of just old buildup on here. So I've got stuff from my shampoo sits and that side of stuff and some nasty crap in the wall grout. So we're gonna see if we can get rid of any of this. I'm just gonna blast it with some scrubbing bubbles. We'll let the bubbles foam up and do their thing. All right, well, let me just say that these scrubbing bubbles that I got, they kind of sucked. Like that was not a very, I'm not impressed. I'm not gonna lie. When I saw the brush attachment, I was like, hey, maybe this will make cleaning my bathroom easier. And they say if you want to make a successful product, it needs to make your life easier. Or, lay, you know, a successful project is something that makes people able to become more lazy. So let's see if this actually works. Uh, I just want to get, like, kind of the brown out, some of the stuff off the sides. And I'm going to basically be saying, you know, did it make, was it easier to do? Did it take, did it speed up the job? And was it easier, like, as me as a person? body. I know a lot of people probably about didn't even think about it. Woo, do we want it on full speed? 
Maybe, maybe since we're, um, maybe we brush at, like, the lower, I don't know. This might actually be working. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, I already tell you right now. I'm kind of happy with this. It's making cleaning a lot easier. Hey guys, bathroom is clean. This guy actually really impressed me. Um, that bathtub actually looks sparkly, not brown. Like that line of brown is gone. And I didn't have to get on my hands and knees and scrub and scrub and scrub. This thing took care of it. And I wasn't expecting it to do that, to be honest. I was expecting to lose bristles and for it to bog down and like do that kind of nonsense. Um, it actually has quite a bit of quite a bit of go behind it. I was really impressed with it. That alone kind of makes it worth the money. I know that sounds retarded, but uh, let's see. I've got the listing right here. It's fifty nine ninety nine. I bought it January fourteenth. What is today? The seventeenth. So that's five months. I've had this for five months almost. I'm gonna be honest. This little picture right here on the screen, Chemo speeds up scrubbing and cleaning time. Amazing. Life hacks with Chemo drills. Yeah, that ad got me. I was on the fence about buying this. I really wanted to see if it was the same as my Anesty drill or ratchet. But I was like, nah, I'm not going to spend 60 bucks on an experiment. That's stupid. But I saw this and I was like, it'll make cleaning the bathtub easier. And if you want a good product, it's got to make your life easier. Well, Chemo actually did it with this. I'm impressed. Now, I know I can buy other tools. I could probably get a little brush like this, no problem, and hook it onto any other drill. It's They sold me that idea. I mean, this is a concept I'd never even thought of because I'm retarded sometimes that ad was like oh my gosh I need it and it worked so they like props to them on that so here's all the stuff that came with the product uh, the bits are okay I keep those in my kitchen for like if I need to put something together inside the house it's just easy to have those there than lugging things back and forth from the garage I can run out to the garage grab this grab that thing and I'm ready to assemble basically anything in the house uh, the measuring tape garbage the drill bits, garbage. The little wonky little stretchy thingy, it works okay. I don't think it could handle a lot of torque, but it felt really cheap. Uh, the brushes, well, they did everything they were supposed to. They cleaned my dirty bathroom, and next time I need to clean my bathroom, I will be using these. That just blew my mind. They didn't fall apart, they worked. So in my mind, this thing is pretty sweet. Now, what makes it even better, at least for me, is that it's not just some random 12 volt tool. We know that that battery goes between this and my electric ratchet, and they also have some other 12 volt tools. Um, let's see, they have the polisher right here. I don't need it, I kinda want it, but I don't need it. It's 75 or $79. There's a $10 off coupon right now, so you could get it for $69. And since I'm doing this big ad for chemo right now, I should let you guys know that I bought this with my own money. These, these are my opinions. Um, <laughs> this isn't sponsored or anything. I don't, my videos aren't even monetized. So, but just throw that out there. Um, let's see. Yeah. I kind of want this thing, but I don't want to buy it, but I kind of want it. 
So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I, I have my own polisher. I have a corded one. It's like an eight inch one from Harbor Freight. It does what I want it to do. But I think this might be easier for smaller things like gas tanks or side covers. And just a little more, e a little bit easier to control, especially if I'm trying to do it like on the bike. So that's the only reason why I've been trying to convince myself to buy this thing. Then I have another tool to go with my other 12 volt tools. So that one would be pretty cool. Um, and then at least I'm far on Harbor or not Harbor Freight on Amazon. I think those are the only ones that I've seen. Now I did notice that, let's see, I think it was a tack life. Yeah, this guy right here. So I saw this. This is a Tack Life 12 volt little recip saw. I don't know why you would need this or what you would use it for. This guy's cutting tree branches and stuff with it. I guess that's okay. But if you look at the battery, get out of your music. Nah, it's kind of not a very good picture. But they're using the same battery. So you could probably use that tack life if you had it with these. So that could be cool. Uh, they do have some impacts on their website uh, that would be really fun. Nope, I was trying to figure out where they're made. I'm guessing they're made in China. Oh, China. So let's see, 12 volt products. Let's look. They're on the second page. They do have these little impact screwdrivers and they have a resip saw, which makes me wonder if that tack life is very similar to this one. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. And like a through in ratchet. Not really interested in this or this. These would be kind of cool, but I haven't been able to find anywhere in America where you can buy those. And uh, then they have, it says it's a three function impact. So I'm guessing it's kind of like the Bauer hammer drill or whatever. You can drill and I don't know what the three functions would be, but might have an impact feature on it. And then these are just the cordless drills right here, 12 volt drills. I don't know what the difference are, but anyways, for, for the money, it seems like they hold up pretty well. I have left this outside multiple times it has gotten rained on the very next day i come out shake all the water out of it and it works good as gold so for what i paid i think it's worth it and it is nice having a battery that's i guess kind of universal if you look at the other batteries that are being used on some of these other tools you can get them for pretty cheap and i'm not going to spend a bunch of money on like a milwaukee or dewalt or anything because I don't make money from my tools. I just like to mess around with stuff in my garage. If I was a professional, then I'd probably be buying professional grade stuff, but I'm just a DIYer and I like to look for good deals. And for me, this seems like a pretty good deal. I would highly recommend it for like somebody moving into an apartment that is going to need to assemble some furniture, maybe hang some pictures, some light duty stuff. This would be great for, um, I could see like an electrician or somebody who doesn't want a lot of torque to do like drywall type of stuff or whatever. This might be kind of a good choice. Or, you know, if you got to scrub things, like it kind of works out. So anyways, that's my review. Um, I'm a happy buyer. No. I'm a happy buyer. I'm happy with it. I can't complain. It has worked really well for me. So if that helps you make your decision on buying it, let me know. If you know of any other 12 volt tools that use this battery design, and you know what? I just noticed this. I have never noticed this. Um, there's a little charging terminal there. So there are a lot of 12 volt tools that come with a, a wall charger. I didn't realize that these had that. So that opens up another window of tools to look at. So I think that you could build up a pretty cool, I don't know, it may be, they might be garbage, but if they are anywhere near the quality that this guy is, then they're not that bad. They're definitely, 
definitely better than the Walmart HyperTuff 20 volt drill. I have the Walmart HyperTuff 20 volt drill. This guy feels like a well-made tool. That thing feels like a toy. That thing was more expensive than this thing is, was. So for a beginner person, you know, I was the f beginner that went out and bought the Hypermax and it was crap and I was like, man, why did I even buy a drill? I could have like had a better luck using my 1950s Craftsman corded drill. And then I went and got my Bauer and that changed everything for me. And I like this guy too. Anyways, that's all I got. Sorry for that little rant and trail at the end. I'm easily distracted. And I probably like inhaled way too much of that scrubbing bubbles. So anyways, I will be back soon. I know that uh, next week I've got the new handlebars for the Honda Shadow coming in. And I have the steering bearings for the KZ440 coming in. So I will be doing videos on those. Uh, handlebars, that's easy. Steering bearings, like the neck stuff, I've never done that before, so that should be an entertaining video. Uh, anyways, like and subscribe, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys later. Bye.